So this pile here is ash and this whole pile, all of it, 100% of it, all came from one tree. This is the tree that we cut down last spring. Uh, my brother Ken, my brother Eric, and uh, there's two rows. And if I remember correctly, uh, I wanna say it was, oh man, I gotta think now. It was like 16 or 17 cords, face cords. So that would be, no, that's not right. I think it was seven full cords, if I remember right now. Seven full cords, so 21 cords. I think that's what we ended up with with this, if I remember right. I don't remember, it's five feet high. Let's just step it off here, get an idea. My brother would know, I'll ask him. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 steps times three. So 51 times five, 51 times five is, let's just to make it easy, uh, that is 250 times two, it's 500. 500 divided by 32. And again, I'm just going for square feet here as far as figuring the surface of it. So if it's, 500, let's do some math in the snow right here. So we got 500 divided by 32. One, 18, is that right? Yeah, 18. And that's 180. So 32 will go in there. Three, four, five. That's right. Five, 32, zero, one, one, six, plus another one. So 16. 16 face cords. I think, if I remember right now, that's what it is. My brother said there were 17, but 16 or 17 face cords. So divide that by three. And uh, it gives you five full cords, something like that. That's what's here, five full cords, one tree. That was a big tree. Okay, here's some of his other piles over here. Um, he's got wood that's, I think this stuff right here is probably three years old now. Again, it's a bunch of ash, this right here I know is. Um, this right here is bitter nut right here. Um, and then this pile here I think is a bunch of ash yep looks like a lot of ash i guess there's a little bit of everything in there but mainly ash and then this pile here i know it was all oak this is all red oak um and then this is this bundle wood that we bundled right here and he sold a lot of that already and then this over here is all oak that him and i cut last year i think we did this and then I think in the back here, yeah, I think this there's some pine back here if I remember right. Oh no, his pine is all gone, that's right. This is also red oak here. Red oak and I see there's some bitter nut hickory there too. But so there it is. And then he's got his shed up here, I'll show you that. Up by where the boiler is. And that shed has got wood in there that's six or seven years old that I helped him cut when he first moved in here. And he wants to burn that off first because that stuff's really old in the shed. He kind of saved it as like as an emergency, but it's getting so old now that he just wants to burn it. Not that it goes bad, but um, he keeps cutting more every year and this stuff that's in here um, is pretty full. And I can't remember the exact amount of this. I'll show you the shed. Um, looks like it's one, two, three, four, four and a half, so that's 12. I think this is 15 feet, and then this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So about 20 feet, 15 by 20. That sounds about right. 15 by 20, and it's packed full. And there's a row out front, and then there was a row in front of that that he already burned, so. And there's his boiler, boiling away. Thank <laughs> you. 
So in these two boxes came a present from one known as Norm Renwick, and he is from Greenville, Pennsylvania. He sent me these boxes. He had contacted me and said he had something that I might be interested in because he manufactures these. Look at that. Pay boxes he sent me. But I do not currently have a stand to put them on, but I will someday. But right now, both of my brothers have firewood stands, and my brother Eric, is, I'm at his house right now. We just drilled some holes into this, and we're gonna mount this box on his firewood stand, and then this bigger one is gonna go probably to my brother Ken, uh, and, or maybe Tony, we'll see. We'll see who's ever nicest to me. Um, but he's got it so that it's got the theft deterrent, it's got the, I don't know what you would call that, uh, <laughs> keeps the money down low so when you put it in it slides past this and sits below it so you can't fish it out of there and then he's got it set up so that he can lock it this one right here the black with the bigger black one has a double lock on the bottom where you can put a paddle lock through and the smaller one has a single right here um, so they're made so that uh, they are very heavy duty solid and the money will stay in there and get in your pocket where it belongs so we're gonna take this one right here out to my brother's uh, firewood stand right now, and we're going to mount it and uh, show you his firewood stand. We're also gonna fill up his firewood bin because he just sold a bunch of wood yesterday. So we're gonna go check that out. So if you wanna get a hold of Norm, his number is 724-588-3305. Norm Renwick, 109 Mortensen Road, Greenville, Pennsylvania. 1612.5. There he is. That's his address. Yeah, you got split boiler size. So where'd this come from? This was that big maple where Dad's house was being built. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was the last spring when my yep. coupler went out. And yep. The... Yeah, a lot of people turn their nose up to soft maple, but it burns really nice. But the people that know wood know that this puts out 18 million BTUs per ton or cord, however they do it. It's 18 on the scale. And hard maple's 24. So hard maple puts out 25% more heat, which is substantial. But this stuff still burns. Good. I'm going to pull into the shed and split this down. Right yeah. Yeah, I could have brought you some. That's all about I got, I got more. Got my glacier working again. Yeah, what was wrong with it? Put new seals in it. Oh. The auto return wouldn't work, so I took the V tent off. So then it was all manual, but it was leaking so much. I ordered a kit online. It was like thirty bucks. It took me less than a half hour to just take it apart, pull this end out, this end out, put the new O-rings on, and huh. it seems to yeah, work. Yeah, these whole things Otherwise, are bought. Otherwise, it was a couple hundred bucks. 130 when I bought, but that was like five years yeah. ago. So I, uh, for 30 bucks, I took a chance.
fast. So fill that slot it should it usually take 70 small pieces or 50 unsplit ones so this should be about if not i'll just fill the barrel ends up being about a quarter of a cord two foot by four foot So here's the big stand. Take the thing Yep. There's nothing wrong with your old pay box. No, but let me show you. <laughs> People can fish stuff out of you there. You can, because whenever I forget to bring my key down, I have a stick stuck on the back. I can just go down there and flip that bill around a little bit. <laughs> you can catch it. And then I can. Well, this one's a little bit tougher. Normally I got them out already. Okay, fish it up to the top. The lock does no good. <laughs> so we got a new design. Yeah. So we'll take the lock off for the new one. 
when we forget the key, that's the way to do it. So, oh, oh, I think I got the square bit on now. So you got to bolt it in from the back. I got to bolt it into the back. Oopsie. And then I got the back end covered up so they can't get at it. Oh, I see. Yeah. If somebody had a exploding mall or a... Oh, if they wanted to rip, that's too, just rip it off. That's too small of a square. Yeah, I kind of tied it together, but I haven't had any problems. I no. Most people that saw wood rarely have people with problems. There's an extra bundle once in a while gone, I know, but I just put this over the back. Oh, there's my bolts. So now I got to go get a wrench. I didn't bring out anything to take that off. I'll be back. system fast flying lead oh well <laughs> yeah when we were gone on vacation a couple years ago my father-in-law was taking care of the stand and he had some wood stolen so he went and bought that just to scare people i'll be right back i can start stacking wood just keep it below the <laughs> Wash well, them you up, wash them off. A little. You don't need to film this. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting a little, little dirty, right? Yeah, I gotta wash them off. Oh, Once in a while you gotta. They come in kind of hot on the floor wheeler, and they <laughs> slid off. And my light thing doesn't latch, so. There's some over there too. They went everywhere. There's a couple. Where the heck did he go? Huh, I got two thirteens. That must be the quarter. Healing it all, or is it still? Yeah, it's just about done.
there, thing of beauty. Same lock over. Sure. That nice should. Might have to get a lock. Oh, yeah, it'll work. Look at that. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good looking box. Yep. That's part of the display. <laughs> Do you sell quite a bit of the loose stuff or more bundles? Um, comes and goes. Certain times I'll, you know, sell you know, six sleeves a weekend. That's more than enough. That's a full one. Usually, I, here's my lines. If it's above that, we're good. So in the summertime, you'll sell this whole thing six times in a week? In a weekend. Oh, yeah. When it was all the time that we bonded when I was here, was it? Yeah, uh, a month ago. Oh, well, that's better. Yeah. Oh, I found two more sockets. We <laughs> beautified it. Worked, but you've been doing this, what, one year now? I think this is the third winter. Oh, third winter? Yeah. Uh, two full summers. But the first year was slow, right? Yeah. Uh, most everybody says the first year they don't do too well. I did about the same, maybe maybe an extra five hundred bucks this year. I think the first year was like fifteen hundred. This year made like two thousand. Oh, so it's good to uh, pocket change. Yep, a lot of guys that all they need. And you're not even in a good location. I mean, well, I got really easy for people to pull in and right. buy. And you do have a campground that way and a campground. That yeah, way. that one's got uh, probably five hundred sites. This one down here, this guy got fifty. So, and then I, I think I sell to a few neighbors that just burn fire, right, fireplace right. stuff. So that's where the sleeves go in the winter time. Right, right. I'm missing one socket, we found all but one, so we'll find I'll it. Find I'll out. find it, yeah, maybe. So there it is, the new pay box is on the stand. All we gotta do is get some new signage for them, get it spruced up a little bit, and you'll be ready to get rich, just like all of you selling firewood. That's it for today, folks. You know what to do. Go watch some more videos. See you tomorrow morning, 5.30 a.m. with a new video just for you. Good night, everybody.